What if we could apply the power of biological discovery to solve the world's most vexing problems? What if we can reprogram our own cells to attack disease in our bodies? What if we had the means to stop pandemics before they occur? What if the next generation of scientists could make humans as healthy as you possibly could imagine? What if we could solve aging and use that information to prevent disease? What if we could create the science and the technology together that would rapidly cure every infectious disease. The quantum leaps in science come from creative, new, unintended observations, from things you didn't expect. Conventional wisdom tends to say, be very careful of risk. But yet, taking risks is how you achieve the most amazing things. What UCSF did was to begin to build a culture that encouraged those things, that said, take a chance. It was an institution that said, we trust you with your big ideas, go for it. You need to liberate them from the fear of failure. It takes an arena where that can happen, and it won't happen overnight, and it won't happen if there's too rigid a blueprint which will stifle this kind of creativity. And it's scary, because of course you might fail, but if you succeed, it transforms the world. Scientists have ideas uh, in the shower every morning. Generally, because of the way that the funding system is set up nationally, those ideas just wash down the drain. The reality is in science is that when you write a grant to a federal agency, you pretty much have to have the project already done to even apply for it. It makes people inherently risk averse and it forces people to do just the safe experiments the Pibber funds are completely different. Pibber arose from conversations with Herb and Marion Sandler, who wanted to do something at UCSF that would, would have a big impact. You had to provide funding for the most brilliant and the best ideas. And what we've done is we've unleashed creativity. People have to be able to turn their ideas fast. And so we said, two-page application, no experimental details, tell us the idea and why it'll make a difference. Pipper by nature is not fearing a big question and knowing and trusting the scientists to actually be able to pursue it. You fund the young, the smart, the bold, the I'm trying something new, I haven't done this before, but I'm talented and capable and I'm going to take the risk. Small results, incremental results, are easily forgotten. It's the big leaps. It's the one result in a lifetime that advances science. And that's what our funding of basic science is all about. The recipients, many of whom fail, have failures, which we don't care about because we're there to take risk with the best and the brightest. We want people to do the thing that's crazy, the thing that's different, the thing that they normally wouldn't do. And the results are huge. They start with trusting the scientists on a really big, bold idea and seeing what comes out of it. If that curiosity can get allowed to run free in the natural world, we discover extraordinary things. Once we can harness the power of biology, the possibilities are limitless. And UCSF is awesome for this. Each one of us brings something unique and a different perspective and a new approach. And you know, all of it together makes this community. If you're dealing with highly intelligent people who can carry through ideas, and who have what it takes to make them come to fruition, that's where the big change takes place. That's, I mean, that's what life is all about, for God's sakes. If you want to have your impact last virtually forever, science is the foundation in which that impact occurs.